Welcome back to the Freediving World Championship as our journey begins today in Brazil and concludes in Ibiza, Spain, where the top freedivers in the world come together for an unforgettable week of competition. Every freediver will tell you the most rewarding aspect of this sport is diving in the ocean and doing so in conditions like this here in Fernando de Noronha off the coast of Brazil. Brazilian Caroline Meyer and 17-year-old phenom Ilan Constantino took us on an adventure that we'll never forget. of the most important place for the free diver, I think. Caroline, this is uh, your playground. <laughs> it's a beautiful playground yeah. now. Now I see why, when you come to a place like this, I see why you love this sport so much. Yeah. It's, it's, it's so peaceful. Yeah, uh, you feel peace uh, when you dive. In a, if you stay in a beautiful place like that. Caroline Meyer is the most famous female free diver in Brazil and the women's world record holder in the element of static, staying underwater for a length of six minutes and 13 seconds. Her beauty and her grace in the water speaks for itself. Caroline, why did you get involved in free diving? Why, because all my life I like to, to be underwater. What are you thinking about before you go under the water? What, what is going through your mind? I know you're mentally focused. Yeah. But can you tell us about what you're thinking about? You must be, you must uh, to have a focus in what you're gonna do, and I try to think in good things. Uh, uh. Good things. I try to think positive. Tell me about Alan. Hello. Alan. He is an amazing diver. Yeah, yeah. A very young diver. Very young. Tell me about his. I'm... Best. You're almost his coach, kind of, huh? Yeah. Tell me about him. Uh, I, I meet Elon by email. Oh. That was three months ago, more or less. I tried to talk with him, uh, asking um, what kind of training he, he was doing. And he said for me, oh, I'm training alone. And immediately I, I, I write um, big words like that, don't train alone. Will he be a superstar? Last week he did, uh, he did uh, uh, a new national record. We, we were working to do a, a new South American record, and after this, we were working for a world record. In example, he is doing seven minutes in only three months. I thought that uh, since you like water, that this would be a really good place to do some of the interview in the bathtub. <laughs> it's a beautiful, it's, a, it's one of the best places to start to practice. Step practice yeah. When you're a kid, you go underwater <laughs> yeah. and hold your breath. <laughs> yeah. Let well, me ask keys. you, this sport is very dangerous yeah. and you never want to do this sport practice by yourself. Can you tell me, what is the feeling like? Have you ever blacked out before? Yeah. What, what is that when you're underwater? Is it, are you in fear? Do you, are you, do you realize what, what is about to happen and then you yeah. black out? Can you tell yeah. me about that? I, um, the first black, the first blackout that I have, I don't understand. I just wake up and I, and I, and I saw that I, I have an accident. And I stay for more than three days thinking about it. Really? And thinking that it's very dangerous. That, that just gave me the chills. Yeah. When you yeah. said that. And, uh, and all my family was scared and I think, uh, God, it's so easy to die. Right. It's really easy. And, uh, so why do you push the limits? If there's a chance that if you... If you train, you know you have a best day, a worst day, and in, during this best day, you, you know that you can do more. Okay. 
and you have you know your limit you know that you can be so close right. to this sometimes i Maybe. ask what i'm doing this why uh -huh. because i like the sea but what i want each each day more right what i i'm not satisfied doing only 50 meters why i have more and more into 55 yeah. because because you want to to cross your limits you feel good the, the human feel good when you can cross your limits right, are you having fun in this sport is it yeah. fun yeah yeah it's fun do you uh if if you were not a free diver what sport would you like to be in? Would it be, would it be surfing or volleyball? Yeah, I like I, I like bodyboard. bodyboard. I practiced it for five years. I practiced bodyboard. Okay. I like a big waves. Caroline Meyer proves that the sport of free diving has many incredible elements to it. Our next stop to the World Championship of free diving will take us to Huatuco, Mexico, with Canadian champion Manny Crookshank. Huatuco proves to be a fantastic location for this lover of warm water as Manny will attempt to break personal bests and lead all women in this sport of freediving. While in Brazil, accommodations were provided by the beautiful Paria Hotel, located in the heart of Recife. The Paria offers beachside lodging and incredible views of the coast. In Fernando de Noronha, visit the Blue Dolphin. Without question, it's your top choice when visiting this most beautiful location in Brazil. Travel from Los Angeles to Brazil was provided by Varig Airlines. Until next time, I'm Paul Higgins. Thanks so much for watching the sport of freediving, and we'll see you again soon.